All right, we are back in Rhino 8 and we are looking at 83D in Grasshopper. In this video, we will continue with our journey through the templates, the templates, scripts and snippets. And you can access this from here. Very quick to examine. You can create your own directory with your own snippets to load from here. You can see where the current templates are located in which folders and you have to right click. Before you right click, you can see the version of Eddy 3 d 0.4.15.2. That is crucial to understand. This is the latest version. For me, always when I see a zero point something something number, I know this is a tool which is in development. So don't expect a tool where everything runs perfectly smooth. It is under development, it will have bugs. The developers rely on you to report these bugs to make it better. Now, somebody pointed to me out on YouTube and I find this a very valuable, very, very important comment. This person said that his problem with these tools, Eddy 3 d and Butterfly CFD, are not reflecting the full potential of the underlying software OpenFORM. And I totally agree. It's OpenFORM is a super complex, super powerful CFD analysis tool. And when you open Eddy 3 d it's just a snapshot, a small snapshot and potentially not optimized for real commercial projects. It's a very good learning resource. It is, I love that you, that we can get an insight, a simplified version to understand a bit what's going on inside OpenFORM. And it's perfect for, for young professionals, students to get like, to get started with CFD analysis. It, it will not replace your engineer. It will not replace a specialist consultant. It will not replace a wind tunnel. So if you're working on a b big commercial project, make sure you are covered with the right specialist. Having said that, if you use it on small projects, early stage massing studies, I think it's the perfect tool because it's free and you get a better understanding of your project. Having said that, the templates, I love that the templates are provided, but some of them are outdated. So what happens is, yes, they updated the, the tools or the this Eddy 3 d tool set, but in some cases they didn't update the templates. So some of them actually don't work. So in the next videos, we probably will look through some of them and try to recreate them and try to fix them with the right version of the tools. So I think there's a bit of an issue with updating the tool itself, but not updating the templates. And that's why we'll only look at three of at two different scripts. We will look at the pressure on building facade and the indoor case. Overall, I have to say still, Eddy 3 d gives us already more, flex, more flexibility, more options to, to work with open foam than Butterfly gave us. Although Butterfly was a bit more, had a bit more documentation within the script. That's what I'm missing here. Nevertheless, we looked at the probing plane, the wind direction eight, visualize wind directors, wind vectors, visualize wind vectors, that these are just tools which are, which you can create within Grasshopper. You don't need Eddy 3 d for. But then we looked into the simple wind analysis simple analysis with wind and simple wind analysis with terrain, simple wind analysis with trees. And then the annual wind analysis did not really work. And I, I think I know the reason why now it's because some of the tools are outdated. And then now we would look at the pressure on buildings. Let's do this. Okay. I'll try to load that. And I know this, this works because I tested it earlier. The only thing I'm not sure and we, we leave that out is the, and how the weather data relates to this, but we will look at that in another, in another video. Okay. Now in here, leaving the weather data on its own, we, as in the other scripts, we can load our mesh. We have our wind directions and this time it's again, it's a list. It's a list of wind directions. It's basically from all sides. And then we have, here would be an input for the weather data. Not sure why, how this is related. It's, it's, it's placed into the same folder, but I'm not sure how Eddy3 picks it up. This is our folder where everything is stored. 
this is our domain i'm not going to detail here we will do that another time and then we can run this simulation now i would go back here again and put this on 60 just because otherwise this this simulation would run forever every time i look open a new script slightly different slightly different organized and then let's look at something see you can see here this is also an old tool i think this is a bit of the problem right so the simulation here this tool is actually old it's 83d03.7.0 i'm wondering if that is a problem if that is the problem of some of the tools not working properly here this was updated this was not updated and so on it's a bit it's a bit tricky so i would encourage the 83d team to make sure the template files are updated with the version but you yeah, know i mean it's a free software why would i complain all right run mesh let's run this okay that that's finished let's run the simulation that will take a while so i will again pause here and jump back in later all right that's that's finished and let's see if all the residuals ran that looks fine and now we can run the probe points let's see i hope everything works out perfect everything ran smoothly no errors nothing except here okay what does it say here you are probing a function object okay let's see please lower the right into one and simulate one more iteration to enable the probing for this special case it's interesting i don't completely understand why this is needed but and now it works <laughs> so strange if i run this again i'm not sure why that makes any difference but we'll find out what the cool thing is here is that we can now cycle through the different wind angles and see how the wind relates to the building facade and the red is of course more pressure and blue is is low pressure pretty cool i don't completely know how this relates with the wind study uh, sorry with the weather data but we will examine this in future there's also an issue with the mesh here I'm not sure i think it's because yeah zero color or null color encountered reverted to white it seems like there's some some faces haven't received any data and that's why that's why it's here it's zero again something to look out for in future we should we should be able to optimize that okay this is this and now let's look at the indoor case the indoor case yes so just very quickly the outdoor comfort street canyon beta version i will not go through this because we need a, a third party plugin and i tested the indoor covid case that is an old template it doesn't work there's some problems so we will skip all this but the indoor case is key because that will be probably one of my first scripts to use in the next in the next couple of videos so it, i will use the wind analysis with terrain and trees and the indoor case on a real or let's say like a made up real project all right let's get into the indoor case okay coolest with the indoor case definitely is that and again this is feels like it's an old script but i know that it works even with the new one what's cool is here it's way more simplified than let's say butterfly safety we only have one domain and we have the probing points output that's really good i just i would just say this is a bit of a mess for uh, to publish publish a template like this thanks eddie 3d but just very quickly to understand so we creating our room from that we need to create a eddie 3d geometry we have an in a temperature input this is the temperature outside i assume we need to create a bounding box to determine what's inside point inside it says here and then we have inlets and outlets and the inlet needs to have a velocity like a wind speed velocity this this 0 0.5 is the cell size it's a grid size basically and then we have the iterations 2000 i think we can go to 1000 it should be okay and and then we have our probing plane this is a typical a simple grasshopper tools there's no, nothing actually from eddy 3 d it's just a it's just a mesh and with basically extracting the midpoints or the, the 
the normals, the face normals points. All right, and then we can just, okay, we haven't run this yet, so we need to run this first. And I will leave this running. And in the meanwhile, we clean up here a bit. So we turn this off, turn this off, this too. Uh, actually, we can turn this on and we will just add a wireframe. So we can close this here, this as well. Otherwise we will not see anything or we can even put this here instead better because now we can see the inlets, outlets. Maybe we can leave the inlets and outlets and is it finished yet? No. Nope. And we also don't need to see all these points. I'm gonna turn this off. Opala. No, 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 no. Preview, don't need to see the preview. We're almost there, almost finished. 960. Now it's finished. So it runs fairly quick. Pretty cool. And then, yeah, we can just run the pro points. Cool. Again, I would turn this off. Don't want to see the pro points, but I want to see the vectors. I want to see the vectors a bit better. It feels like this is not ideal. Let's go into top view. It's all like crazy overlapping. So what you can do, you can again add a multiplier. Place this in here. And then we just add a number slider. And with that we can shorten our vectors. Just remember that this now multiplies the actual vector length, which shows the speed of the, the wind or the, 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 the air by this 0 0.14. Could even make it lower. But yeah, it works fairly quick. So that's great. It feels like open foam 2020 is, is it also has improved also in speed. I think I get the feeling, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Nevertheless, so this we will use very soon. I looked at the indoor COVID case restaurant. That for sure doesn't work as it is. We need to find out why. The export results as GeoJSON. That would be ideal. And again, we need then additional objects here. I don't, I, I don't want to do that. Or maybe I do. <laughs> install. Let's see if it works actually. Successfully installed both missing plugins. Cool. I don't know what Urbano is. That sounds interesting. Close. Okay. Okay. It seems like that doesn't really work and everything became super messy now. Let's get rid of this. Okay. 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 So we will have a look at this at some point. This was our original script. Let's get rid of this. Okay. And then we can look at the volumetric flow rates. Okay. That also has some issues. Let's see. There's some older files in there, which don't work. So it's a bit, so I would, this is the thing I would criticize. I, I don't really get why you would publish publish a version where all the templates are outdated. So delete. Okay. And this is from, I can already see it's for sure it's outdated because it says here 2003, but maybe it works. I don't know. Mesh it seems everything is there, but yeah, you can test on your own. I would say let's stick with the basic CFD analysis first. So outdoor and indoor cases first, and then we can jump into other applications. All right, see you in the next video.